What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about 10 things you need to know before you move to Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Let's get into it. My name is Ramon Lamelli. I'm a local real estate agent and the team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty in Winston-Salem as well as all the surrounding areas. If you ever have any questions or need to contact me, my contact info is down below. Number one, Winston-Salem can get quite rural. While Winston-Salem is a great small city, it can get quite rural. If you're leaving Winston-Salem in any direction, within five to 10 minutes, it's gonna get rural. Now, Winston-Salem isn't completely rural. In fact, it is a thriving, growing city. In the last six months, homes that sold, sold with an average of 0.39 of an acre, but that's including the city part and the rural part. But obviously, as you're leaving town, you start to get more land per house. You'll soon start seeing corn and soybean fields and lots of farm animals. Now, there are obviously pros and cons of living in the city versus the rural areas. For example, having your own well and septic tank that's a big no-no for some people other people love it so if you're thinking about moving to Winston-Salem just know that some parts are gonna be quite rural so make sure you tell your agent to put you in the right spot the number two thing you should know about Winston-Salem if you're planning on moving here is the traffic or the lack thereof which is a great thing coming from Southern California this is personally one of the biggest reasons why I love Winston-Salem North Carolina and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that there is no traffic you do see some traffic every now and then rush hour traffic mornings are kind of busy evenings are kind of busy especially around big major highway interchanges obviously if there's a wreck or construction but for the most part there's very little traffic in fact I can't really remember the last time that I came to a complete stop on a highway in Winston-Salem but I didn't want to just tell you that so I actually went out to the streets got into some rush hour traffic on purpose just to show you guys what it's like By the way, guys, if you're getting any kind of value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you go down there, give me a like, leave me a comment, and above all, subscribe. Those kinds of things keep me motivated to keep bumping out these videos for you. Now let's talk about the Winston-Salem food scene. Now, while we are a growing city, our food scene is not on par like some of the bigger cities I've been to, but we're not slacking too much in Winston-Salem. We obviously got all the fast food spots, all the sit-down chains, tons of Mexican restaurants all around. We got Chinese, we got Japanese places. We're starting to see more and more Indian food Food as well and more different variations of Asian food like ramen places. We have our small mom and pop diners which I love. In Winston-Salem there's also a lot of Mediterranean and a lot of Greek restaurants. We also have some really great specialty seafood places but by far the kind of restaurant you see the most is barbecue and that probably has to do with the fact that Lexington which is just a city over or a town over claims to be the barbecue capital of the world. There are so many barbecue restaurants there it's crazy. So if you're a big foodie you're still gonna love Winston-Salem. If there's something very specific you might have to travel to Greensboro or to Charlotte, but that would be kind of a rare case. Now, if you really want to find out what's going on in the Winston-Salem food scene, go to my TikTok. I'm going to link it down below. Every week I go and I try and I review a different restaurant. This week we actually did King's Crab Shack. It's a great seafood place. Check it out. Number four, allergies. If you're moving to this area, you're definitely going to need to know about allergies. In fact, when I first moved here was the first time that I can remember experiencing allergies. Our allergy season starts around March and it goes all the way through June, but April is a month you're really gotta watch out for. In April in Winston-Salem, you can walk out to your car after you just washed it and it's gonna be covered in this haze of yellowish green pollen. I mean, you can write your name in there and everything is crazy. It's almost comical how fast it builds up. So if you're thinking about moving to the Winston-Salem area and you're susceptible to allergies, think it through because allergies can get quite bad. Usually for me, I just pop an Allegra, so get you a family size pack of Allegra and you should be fine. Number five, home prices. If you're moving to the area, you're gonna be happy to know that Winston-Salem has some great home prices. Including the 21% home price increase since last year, Winston-Salem is still over $100,000 below the national home price average. According to Zillow, the average home in the United States of America sold for about $357,000. While Winston-Salem, including that 21% hike, we're still only at $241,000. One of the things that no one told me about when we were moving to the Winston-Salem area was how humid it is. Our average annual humidity is just over 82%, which is well above the national average. May, June, July are some crazy high humidity months around here. Our summers here are quite humid. We do get a lot of rain in the summer, so that's what creates the humidity. It's hard to describe it through a percentage, but just know that if you walk out in the middle of June, in the middle of the day, you're going to start sweating instantly. You're going to feel like it's hard to breathe until you get used to it. You're going to feel sticky because everything is so humid, and you're going to want to go back inside and shower. HVAC is a lifesaver and a must-have if you're living in 
Winston-Salem. Another thing you're gonna love to know about the Winston-Salem area or North Carolina more specifically is that North Carolina ranks as number 21 in the country in cheapest real estate property taxes. The average in North Carolina is 0.84. This as well as our cheap home prices means that you won't be paying too much in real property taxes when you move to Winston-Salem. Number eight is gonna be new construction. Now this could be a pro or a con for you depending on how you look at it. One thing about Winston-Salem is that it seems that new construction homes are popping up everywhere. Because we have such a large housing demand and we have a lot of people coming to the area and a lot of people right now aren't selling their homes, the obvious answer is new construction. Now some of these builders make some beautiful homes, some beautiful products, and usually the prices are affordable in a nice neighborhood. The only thing that I dislike is that oftentimes you see what used to be a beautiful open field now it's a neighborhood. It feels like the city is expanding out into the rural areas. So what used to be farmland is now another neighborhood. So it's a pro and a con for me. Let me know what it is for you. Number nine on today's list is the weather. The traffic and the weather are two things that I really, really appreciate about Winston-Salem, North Carolina. In North Carolina, you get to see the beauty of all four seasons. It's amazing to watch the winter roll into the spring, roll into the summer, roll into the fall, and then we do it all over again the next year. Not only that, but our weather is surprisingly mild. It doesn't get too, too hot or too too cold for too long. It does rain quite a bit here, but normally it's a day or day and a half and then it's gone. Our rainiest months are July and August, middle of summer. These are also our hottest and most humid months. January is our coldest month in North Carolina. According to WeatherSpark, the average temperature in January in North Carolina is about 39 degrees. And in the summer, it does get hot, but don't get me wrong, we don't see too many three digit degree days. I mean, it makes the news when the temperature is over 100 degrees. 80s and 90s mostly, a lot of it is in the 70s as well. Number 10 on today's list of things you need to know before moving to Winston-Salem is that we don't really have any major sports, major airports, or any major venues. If you enjoy going to an NFL game or maybe a basketball NBA game, you're going to have to go to Charlotte and eventually you'll learn to love the Panthers and the Hornets too, but you're going to have to drive to Charlotte to go see them. Now, if you need to go on an international flight, you're going to have to drive to either Raleigh or Charlotte, neither of which are too far. And yeah, we have some smaller venues. We don't have any major venues though. So if you want to watch your favorite band play or some kind of stand-up comedy show. You're gonna have to drive to Charlotte or Raleigh, but Greensboro also has some of those venues. Once again, guys, my name is Ramon Lomelli, local realtor here. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions or need any help. That brings us to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see in the next one, and I'll talk to you soon.